Mark chapter 5. Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 5 is where I want to go in your Bibles tonight. To Mark chapter 5. Amen. Is where I want to preach to you. Hallelujah. Trust everyone had a good New Year's. Good Christmas and all that. Mark chapter 5. Let's go ahead and start. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, <clears throat> and was nothing bettered, better, but grew worse. Amen. But grew worse. And when she had heard of Jesus, and he came in the press behind, Amen. And the Bible said, touched his garment. For she said, if I may just touch, but the clothes, amen, is, uh, excuse me. But if I just touch his garment, for she said, if I just touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Amen. And straightway, the fountain of her, her blood was dried up. And she felt, felt in her body that <clears throat> that she was healed of this, this plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that the virtue had gone out of him, turn, he turned him about the press and said, Who touched my clothes? Amen. Jesus was wondering, Who touched me? Amen. Glory to God. And, she, and the, the Bible said, And he looked around about to her. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, God still heals in 2022. That's, you just hang on with me here tonight. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible said, and, and he looked round about to see her. Amen. And that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing, fearing and trembling, knowing that was done in her, came and fell down before him and touched him in all the truth. And the Bible says here, And she said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made me whole. Go in peace, and be, no, and the, the, be whole of thy plague. I'm going to preach to you tonight, amen, how we just need to get to Jesus. If you, my friend, tonight could just get to Jesus, Amen. This is what this lady in Mark chapter 5 had done. Amen. She had, the Bible tells, tells us here, she had an, uh, this uh, issue of blood. Praise God for 12 years. She'd been in a battle for 12 long years with this plague. And nothing grew better. She was sick day and night. She was sick on the holidays. She was sick on her birthday. She was sick Monday through Sunday. And nothing got better. Hey man, can I tell you tonight? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, still heals in our land. Can you say man? Jesus heals today. His healing power has not dried up. And He can still heal you right where you are today. Amen. I said Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, still heals today. If you got cancer, He can heal your cancer. If you got a toothache, He can heal your toothache. I'm talking about a God that heals. Amen. My God still heals. My God ain't dead. But my God's alive today. And He came down here to tell you, uh, hold on a little bit longer, friend. Uh, it's about over. Uh, the Son of God's about ready to come. Uh, Jesus is getting ready to come uh, and take His children up and out of here. Uh, and it's time uh, for everybody to know uh, you can be healed uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. If you can just get to Jesus. Oh, help me, Lord. Oh, God help me here. I said, if you can just get to Jesus. I said, if you could just touch His clothes today. I said, if you can just touch the Lord. Jesus came a long time ago, 
friend, uh, to this dirty, filthy old world uh, filled with sin and corruption, uh, filled with devil, uh, uh, all kinds of devils and demons around. Uh, but when Jesus Christ, uh, I said, when Jesus Christ, uh, glory to God, touched him, uh, he made everything good. Uh, he made everybody whole. Uh, he set men free uh, from the power of the devil. Oh, help me here. Oh, glory to God. I said Jesus still heals. Hey, man, friend, if you can just touch Jesus. This little lady had this plan. This little glory to God. I want the Lord to help us. But if you can just touch Him. Just a hem of His garment today. <clears throat> I come to tell you, he, he cares about you. He sees that you're suffering, friend. He sees that you're going through something. Hey man, but God wants to help you. God sees that you've been going through a struggle. Hey man, but God knows what you're going through today. I said Jesus knows what you're going through tonight. And He wants to help. And He wants to heal your broken body. Broken down by disease. Broken down. But God wants to revive. I said God wants to bring up again. Hey man, this world will get you down. If you listen to the loot. Well, glory to God. If you listen to the news long enough, glory to God, it'll get you down. But if you open God's precious word, are y'all listening to me today? I said if you open God's word and you open your Bible and you knock the dust off and you get down and the Lord Jesus Christ will help you through what you got you down. The devil will get you down, but Jesus will get you up. Read the word of God will get you up. Pray unto an almighty Savior will get you up. All you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. Amen. And He'll come right where you are. Right in where you are, friend. Jesus is alive. Yes, we're in the new year. 2022. But the same God. Amen. That healed this little lady in Mark chapter 5. Over 2,000 years ago. It's the same God that can heal your broken body here on January. Lord to God, where's my watch? First, 2022. The God that I serve and the God that lives within me can heal you. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. She had this for 12 years. Oh, could I tell you today? Oh, she had it for 12 long years, friend. Hey, man, that grew nothing better. But the Bible tells me and you she got worse. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, come on here now. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, man. She, nothing got better. But when she touched the hem of his garment, Oh, come on here now. Hallelujah. When she touched Jesus, if we can just get you to Jesus, friend. Oh, glory to God. I said, if we can just get you to Jesus. I said, if we can just get you to the Son of God, everything would be all right. Oh, come on here now. When we get in His presence, all the troubles go away. Oh, come on now. I'm going to preach to you. When we get a hold of Jesus Christ, when we get a hold of the Waymaker, when we get a hold of the Seawalker, when we get a hold of the Chainbreaker, oh, come on here now. When we get a hold of, glory to God, when we get a hold of Jesus, hey man, I'm telling you right here and right now, when you can just touch Him, things become better. Things become brighter. It may look dark now. It may You may be in despondency now. But if we can just get you, hey man, to Jesus. Hey man, glory to God. Imagine that little lady crawling down. It may have been in the mud and the dirt, but she's crawling. I don't know, and neither do you, friend, what it was like in that day. But oh, when she got to the Savior, I said, oh, when she got to Jesus Christ, and she touched Him, hey man, what would have happened tonight if you got a hold of Jesus?
Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll tell you right here and right now, if you could get a hold of the Son of God, things will look better in the morning. Oh, come on here now. I said, if you could get a hold of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, there were some things here. The Jews had many remedies for such a case, but they were all helper, helpless to bring a cure. Some were drinks and herb, herbs. Uh, the drinks didn't help. The herbs didn't help. Oh, come on here now. Hallelujah. Oh, they, they, have, they were powerless. They were helpless. But oh, when Jesus come on the scene, things change. I said, things change. And when Jesus comes up on your stormy sea tonight, the storm will get better. The problem will get better. The master's coming and wants to dine with you tonight. And he wants you to know you can be healed. Oh, we, we say uh, that the God of all creation can heal today. Uh, that's a lie from the pit of the devil's hell. Uh, the God that I serve heals in 2022. Uh, I said the God that I know, uh, he still heals. Uh, his power ain't dead. Uh, his power ain't gone. Uh, but it's still for today. Can you say amen? Uh, oh, come on here now. Uh, I come to tell you God's power is real. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. I want to try and help somebody. Amen. Glory to God. We look here that she was in a desperate. She was in a desperate condition. And she crawled and she, she said, if I got to crawl to Jesus, I will. If I got to get down on my hands and my knees, I will. But if I can just touch him, amen, hallelujah. If you can just get a hold of the man named Jesus, oh, hallelujah. She was desperate. She grew worse. She said, the doctor can't help me. Amen. The doctor can't fix me like you can, Lord. And just let me touch. Oh, hallelujah. Just let me touch you, God. And you can heal me. This little lady in Mark chapter 5. Amen. Was crawling in a desperate situation. No doctor could help her. No man could help her. No woman could help her. Are you listening to me today? Nobody could help this little lady. To get what she needed. Twelve years bound down with this disease. But she spent what she just touched Jesus. And she was completely healed. The Bible said there in 5 and 34. Her faith. Oh hallelujah. Made her whole. You want a healing today? Activate your faith. Are you listening to me tonight? I come to tell you you want healing? Activate faith. Oh, come on here. I want to tell you. Faith. I'll get you your healing. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. And He'll heal that which is broken. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Verse 26 tells us. Oh, glory to God. <clears throat> that she tried all human re remedies. All of what man's uh, devices had. And nothing got better. In verse 26 it tells me she spent all she had. Every plum nickel she had. Every little drop of money she had, friend. But grew worse. <clears throat> but then in verse 27. She said when she had heard of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Mark chapter 5 tells us this tonight. Uh, when she heard of Jesus. Uh, oh, hallelujah. I want to tell you tonight. Uh, the God, glory to God. The God that I serve. Uh, he's still real. Uh, we're in a new year. Uh, but God's still on the throne. Uh, his power ain't endless. Uh, he's got power to heal you. Uh, right where you're at tonight. Uh, oh, come on here now. She said, if I could just get to Jesus, and if I could get 
get you to, to Jesus. I've been doing what God called me to do. I said if I could just get you to the Son of God. I come to tell somebody today your healing is on the way. Help is on the way. Jesus wants to help you. Jesus wants to heal you. Jesus wants to set you free. And you can be free indeed. Oh, come on here now. Amen. She was determined to touch Jesus in verse 27. She said, if I got to crawl, I'm a going. If I got to go walk all the way to Walmart to meet Jesus, I'm a going on. Oh, can I tell us today, how determined are you to get to the Son of God? Oh, come on here now. Oh, hallelujah, I need to quit. Woo, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. But she's determined. I got to touch him. I got to touch Jesus. Amen. And she was determined. I got to touch Jesus Christ. Amen. She was, hallelujah. Verse 29 says she accessed her faith. Amen. But then we looked when after she accessed her faith. Glory to God. She instantly was healed in verse 29. God can heal you today, friend. Whoever you are listening out there to me. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through. Amen. But I come to preach and tell you. That God wants to heal your body. Amen. He wants to set what's broken free. Amen. We're living in a world right now where we don't want the house of God. Amen. We'd rather stay home and listen to a preacher on the radio. Oh, come on here now. I'm going to preach to you straight. Hallelujah. But God said go to church. Even if things are bad, we need to get back to the house of God. We need to get back where God is. Hey Amen. I know God is everywhere. And He wants to meet with you tonight, friend. Oh, come on here now, Jesus. He said in His Word, I come quickly. And a twinkle of an eye, the Son of God is coming. And where will you be on Judgment Day? Oh, come on here now. I come to tell somebody tonight, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, wants to heal you and save you and turn your whole life around. The God that I serve can do that for you. No man can do that for you. Nobody on planet earth. Glory to God can do that for you. But one touch of Jesus Christ. I said one touch of the master's hand can bring deliverance in your life. Can you say amen or me today. The Son of God wants to set you free, friend. Amen. But if we could get people to Jesus. Amen. I said if we could just get these people to the Son of the living God. Did you know God's alive and God's not dead? He's alive today and He wants to work and move in your life. Hallelujah. He ain't dead. Hey Amen. He's not buried out in the graveyard. Oh, come on here now. I come to tell you the God that I serve tonight is alive. And He can heal you. He can help you. God's real. Reach out and touch Jesus today. Hey Amen. You say, preacher, it's been a long time since I prayed. I don't even know if God still loves me. Preacher, it's been a long time since I called on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. You listen to me and you listen good. God still loves you. No matter what you're doing today or what you did last night, the Son of God still loves you. And He still came. Amen. It bled and died on an old rugged cross for the sins you committed. And if you don't know Him today, you can be born again. Oh, come on here now. I said God loves you still. And He wants to set you free from the power of the devil. He wants to set you free from the sins that got you bowed down. That got you tormented day and night. I sleep on your pillow at night. You can't think nothing about what you've done wrong. But God said, 
said, I forgive you, my child. But you got to call on me. And you got to repent of your sins. Call on Jesus. And He'll come right down in that room that you're viewing this today on. I said, God will come down where you are. And He said, in His Word, I still love you. You may walk out on me, but I will call you back to me before it's too late. Don't you realize, honey child, it's about over. Don't you realize the trumpet's about to sound and you've got to get right today because in the morning, there may not be a morning for you. God can come now. And where will you be when you meet God in the air? Washed in the blood? Saved? Or eternally and forever lost? Oh, come on here now. Oh, hallelujah. God wants to set you free. And the only way you got to do it. Mark, excuse me, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. I think it is. With that, thy mouth, not me repeating a prayer. Oh, dear Lord, thank you, Jesus, for this and for blah, 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 and pray this prayer. No, 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 no. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear you pray it. He wants to hear what you got to repent of. Oh, come on here now. Are you listening to me tonight? I don't think nobody is. Hallelujah. But can I tell you, it's got to be from you and you alone, friend. you got to repent of your sins and ask Jesus into your heart. And He's a loving God that will forgive you for every dirty, rotten thing you've ever done. That's the God that we serve tonight. He wants to forgive and wash you clean. Oh, I don't know how I got off on this. Oh, glory to God. I started off on healing. Amen. But God did heal you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you, Jesus loves you. I love you. And I want to see you go to heaven. I don't want to hear one day, did you hear so and so is lost? And she died and went to hell. Oh, God, what a sad day that be, friend. Are you listening? night. It's heaven or hell. It's real. You may have been taught it all your life, friend, but it's real. It didn't lose its power. It's still the same hell. And hell is same. It's still as hot as it was when you heard about it as a little boy or when you heard about it when you was a little child. It's still as hot and it still could be for you if you don't turn now. Amen. And the, the times, as you, I don't know how in the world we can annoy the voice of God. But look at me, and we look at the times today, and we see how bad it is in the United States right now. It's only going to get worse, and it ain't going to get better, because Jesus said it in His Word. The Bible said times would get worse. People would run from the gospel. People would obey the Bible. People wouldn't listen like in Noah's day. Noah preached for 120 years and they turned a deaf ear and walked out on God. But God didn't want to walk out on you. It's time to repent. Oh, God help us here. Jesus loves you. And I want to tell you one more time. Time's running out. This could be the last gospel message you ever hear in your life. But the main thing is, no matter who it is, focus on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh, come on here now. I come to tell you, Jesus loves you. And He wants to set you free from the power of the devil. Hey, Amen. If you can just get to Jesus. Say, preacher, do I really got to crawl? Preacher, do I got to do this? Do I got to do what that woman did? Oh, no. Without mouth confession, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me away. Wash me clean. Amen. And God will do it for you. Amen. You believe that tonight? Say amen. Well, hallelujah. God loves you. Amen. And make sure you know where you're going. Heaven or hell. Now, as this is over, now you decide what you're going to do.